Hi, well, I'm going to show you how I created this uh, YouTube short using only FFmpeg. All right, well. There's basically uh, there's a few components here. There's a webcam that I used a, a direct show for and a filter that gives the old TV look. The, the stuff the dog has shot vertically, it's actually this size um, using my uh, like phone camera. Then the waveform I generated using that with FFmpeg with a transparent background and I overlaid it on the video. And the same thing for the, the text, um, drawing on the screen and saving that the transparent background and overlaying it. So I'm gonna take you through all the steps that I uh, did to create the uh, create this video. Okay, the first thing is the, the webcam. And the way you uh, record a webcam with FFmpeg is you use DShow, Direct Show, and then uh, the devices. Well, what are the devices? Um, you can find the devices on your computer with this line. Uh, so we'll go in here and I'll, I'll show that to you. Uh, let's see if I can make this a little bit bigger. Yep. FFmpeg list devices, true. And then um, the, the format is for all the direct show devices. Um, the eye is dummy. Uh, and then this will show you all the devices and you can pipe it to a uh, the text file if you want to. So that's essentially what I did here. So you can see the Elgato face cam uh, is, I just used the alternate name here. Uh, I could probably just use this. I don't know why I used the alternate name. Maybe the, the regular, this one wasn't working. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, that's how it, how it worked. And let me explain this, uh, all this code here. So obviously we have, we have the FFmpeg. It's uh, the format of direct show, yeah, buffer size. I'm going to, I want to record it 1280 by 720. The input is that is a webcam. The audio is this device, which is this M my Moto one uh, shotgun mic. And then VF is a visual filter. And this is a bunch of stuff that creates the TV effect. And uh, you can actually see, you can actually learn about that. Uh, watching a channel I really strongly recommend. It's an amazing channel. Hold on. All right, well, this is the FFmpeg guy YouTube channel. Um, like I said, it's, uh, or if, I don't know if I said, it's each of these videos are works of art um, just by themselves. Um, but they're also fantastic uh, teaching uh, videos. They really, um, they're just at exactly the right speed to uh to help you learn and just the way he does it just uh like i said just amazing stuff so here you see how to create a vintage tv screen look and then if you look in the comments here you can see my comment this stuff so wicked cool it certainly is <laughs> and you know so here's the uh the command and then he explains each of these uh, things so blurs a video for vintage touch, the lens correction, you know, this is what makes the shape for TV screen. Uh, this is some stuff you just, whatever technical stuff you need to do. Uh, so anyway, yeah, again, FFmpeg guy, um, just amazing stuff. And um, I've learned so much from his channel. I've been using FFmpeg for a long time. Uh, but uh, so yeah, this is just uh, incredible stuff. All right, so back to what I did. Okay, so we do the, the webcam through the TV effect and uh, we get webcam MP4. And uh, let me go over that and show you. So where's webcam MP4? It's this one. Uh, All right, well, so here it is. Cafe. My friend DC said I... Then the next thing I do, uh, so these are all the steps I would take. Now I want to take my video and I want to scale it to um, to 180 for the vertical because the vertical is 1080 by 1920. So I take the webcam for, I force it to 30 frames a second because uh, the webcam capture is going to drop frames. Uh, and then I scale 1080 to um, 1080 to, to, to 1. The, well, the negative 1 says scale the width and then whatever the height is to match the aspect ratio, just use that. So it's just a interesting way of just if you don't if you just want to scale in one one direction and let the computer figure out ffmpeg figure out the other part <laughs> that's what you do 
And then I just save it as uh, webcam 30 FPS, 1080p. Uh, next is where I want to add my scaled webcam to the vertical video. So the vertical video uh, is, uh, is where is this? Is would be just this one, yeah. Oops. So this is a vertical video I shot with the phone. And if we, uh, if we stop this video, uh, we look at the uh, codec information. You can see it's 1920 by 1080. Well, actually, it's really 1080 by 1920. I wanted to say that. Anyway, okay. So back to uh, back to the uh, adding a webcam to the to the. This is this is the tricky part for me. So we're gonna take um, two inputs. So the first input is that video of the dog right here. And the second was my, the webcam of me, right? That's a scale of 1080. And uh, the way you can, uh, basically an FF, FFB of streams. So this is one stream, this is the second stream. And then you can actually do some effects on a stream and call them something else. I'm um, sort of like layers in Photoshop a little bit. So zero V means the first stream for video. So I'm saying take that first stream and pad it you know, with white. And I actually don't think this does anything because it already is that format, but I put it in there just to be careful. Then I'm calling this stream now BG. I mean, I could, zero V was the input stream of the video, but BG is what that stream is after you've applied the effect. Now in here, the semicolon will separate these various filters. I'm doing an overlay. So an overlay is saying, take whatever's here, which is 1V, which is the second stream, which is my webcam. Take my webcam, which is here, and put it over BG, which is that thing of the dog. And it's an overlay 00, zero basically says, put it at the top of the screen. So this is the, the dog, and 00, zero says, start right here. So it'll start right top left, and it'll draw It'll put my webcam stuff over it. Um, merge filter complex A merge inputs two means take both audio and put them together. Just merge them together. Call it webcam over and MPG, uh, MP4. So let's go look at that now. So next step, uh, here it is webcam over MPG4. And now you can see I've overlaid right, my well, part onto the dog. Cafe, all right. Um, now, oops. Uh, second thing is to create the waveform. So the waveform, I take the webcam over BG, which is right over here, and I basically put it through these filters that will create a waveform. Again, this is on FFmpeg guy. Uh, there's some other, actually, YouTubers that cover this. But anyway, just take that code, and that's what I did, and it creates a web, um, a uh, a waveform you can see here. And the waveform, of course, we need a transparent background. So uh, how did I, uh, I think if I just save it as WebM, it will uh, it will automatically have a transparent background. Anyway, so that's, that's what happened there. Now I'm gonna overlay the transparent waveform on the video with me um so that's this up here so again we're going to use the overlay uh which is right here and the overlay the y equals 1300 so basically we have our um our video and i've been overlaid up here so i'm going to take the uh that um transparent uh waveform and we're going to start it at y equals 1300. You can just mess with that number till you get it placed where you want. Um, so that's what I did there. And uh, and because it's, uh, well, I have to put over here that for the waveform video in that I'm using the WebM a library. 
Next, um, I want to capture writing on the screen. So if I use back black background, I can just write and it'll create transparent. And the way uh, that works is, well, first I'm doing a uh, format uh, GDI grab, which is just a library that'll grab the screen. Show region one means it'll show a box so I know what I'm drawing in. And then frame weight rate uh, 15. This thing is actually very slow. Um, this is a weakness, this is a FFmpeg. Again, webcam, not, not the greatest uh, speed. And then um, grabbing the screen uh, isn't like you would get using OBS or, or, uh, or Bandicam or something. But for our purposes, it's fine. I'm setting the video size, uh, which is going to be 1080 by 576. So again, we draw our thing, avoid our waveform here, me here. So basically, I just, again, I'm just guessing, but that's, I feel, again, going to be 1080, and this will be 576. Oops. Ah, here, I'm going to hit that button. Ah, stop it. <laughs> There's a button on this drawing thing. And uh, now I'd probably going into a smaller font. Uh, anyway, um, so uh, then the offset X is just where on the screen it's going to be. So I think I have a set right now that's going to go somewhere like this. I forget where. And of course, move this stuff away. Then it's the input is the desktop. And then when I say color key black format RGB, that will make the that will take out the black and make it transparent because again i'm saving it to webm and then um because i can't actually uh, stop the capture and everything in time i just have the signals just quickly it just copy from one second to one minute one second just to create a one minute version for this because uh the shorts have to be over um have to be under one minute uh, next, I overlay this transparent text writing. Well, let me just show you the transparent text writing by itself. Um, so here's the was just I drew on the screen while I'm watching the video, and uh, again, it, it looks black, but it's actually transparent. And then um, I take uh, FFmpeg, I take my webcam footage. Uh, as one input, I take my uh, titling or the drawing as another. Again, you see just overlay it wide 800, and then I call it final short. And uh, oops, here's the final short, which I showed you before. And all that's right, how I well, put it all together. I wish this video were house better. House. <laughs> so, it's so. So tiring just uh, figuring all this out. I had no energy left for uh, creative endeavors. Anyway, that's uh, that's how I created that video. And maybe some of this you might find useful if you want to create um, videos using FFmpeg. Uh, I don't know if I pointed out, but so this is headless. There's no video editor. There's no GUI. This is all through the command prompt. Uh, but, you know, the power you have once you sort of understand FFmpeg is, uh, well... Anyway, it's interesting. Uh, uh, again, thank you. And uh, I guess I'll see you later. Well, you'll see me later. Whatever. <laughs> Goodbye.